Today, I want to show you two methods on how to get fantastic results in Stable Diffusion and set yourself apart as an AI artist. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So these two methods are very easy and intuitive to use. And the first one is simply that you should join the Stable Diffusion Discord because in there you will find a channel when you scroll down that is called Models and Embeddings. And here you find a long list of models and embeddings that have been trained by the community and that are free for you to download and use with your AI art. Now the difference between a model and an embedding is that a model is trained on an object, a subject, a style for the complete model. So this cannot be easily mixed and matched inside of the prompt with other models. On the other hand, we have embeddings and they are applied to already existing models. They are also trained on a person, object or style. But the positive thing here is that you can put together multiple embeddings by just calling them up in the prompt. So this is very dynamic in the process. Now, a very important thing when downloading an embedding is that you check out which model of Stable Diffusion this is for. Today, I want to show you two of them and both of them are for Stable Diffusion 2.1. You will be surprised how fantastic results you can get with that. But before we do that, I want to highly, highly suggest to you that you look at the other channels in here. Especially noteworthy are the channels prompt engineers, general with images and 2.1, which will give you very powerful insights into how to use the 2.1 model. And you will be absolutely surprised how much you can do with that. Also, you want to often look into the tech support channel, especially if you have problems or need help because there's very talented and helpful people in there. Now let's go to our models here. So let's click here on floral marble and you can see here on the right side, we have a description and then also a link to hugging face where you download it. When you go to the website, you will see here more of a description and often also example pictures. Now here's a very important hint for you. Often these images are original PNG file renders. You can download them. And then when you put that here into PNG info, you get all of the parameters from that, which is really important when you get started with an embedding, because this gives you an example, positive prompt, negative prompt, all of the settings, including the render method and the seed. To download this embedding, what you want to do is to click here on files and versions. Here you see multiple of these files. You will recognize that they are very small. Like I said, these are just applied to existing models. This is why they are not gigabyte size. They just have a couple of kilobytes. Now from the name, you can see at the end, it says 150, 250, 400. This is how many steps this embedding has been trained. I would suggest to you to download all of them so you can compare their effect on your prompt because sometimes less or more steps give you a better effect. Now to download them, simply click here on this on this arrow and you want to download that into your automatic 1111 folder and in there into the embeddings folder. And then the second embedding I'm going to show you is Lysergian Dreams, which is also for 2.1. Again, you go to the Hugging Face page. Here you have multiple files. Download all of them into your embeddings folder. Next, you want to load Automatic 1111 as usual and then go to the Web UI. Now here I have already loaded all of the settings and prompts from the original image. And you can see that this is my result. It is different from what we see on the website, even though I have the same seed and all the same settings because my computer and GPU are different and that is enough to change the content of the image. Now, the important thing here is to use an embedding. What you want to do is to call the embedding by its file name. You can see in my case here, it says floral marble 400. It doesn't have the dot PT. You don't need that part. Now, next, I want to mix this with the second embedding. So here we have our second embedding Lysergian dream minus 3000. I copy that file name and put it here at the end of my prompt. Now, when I click on generate again, I will end up with this image. It has a similar composition, but it is a mix of both embeddings. You can still see the interesting hairdo, but now it has this kind of cosmic dreamy style. 
Now here's a next trick that I want to show you. You can heighten or lower the impact of an embedding onto your prompt. To heighten it, select the prompt name in here, hold control and press multiple times upwards with your arrow key and you will see this is adding a number to the end and it is also putting it into round brackets. So in this case we have 1.4 and now I'm getting this result. Again the same composition but now the second embedding has a much higher impact on the image. If you want to go in the opposite direction what you want to do is to use square brackets. So here you can see I'm using square brackets at the start and the end and now I'm setting it only to 0.3 so that it has a low impact on the image. Now my result looks like this. It's pretty similar to the original render, but the little details are different and I have these two glowing lights and these colors in the face. So there is a bit of an impact from the second embedding. Now here is the second amazing trick or method I want to show you today and that is to merge together very expressive amazing models for stable diffusion. So I already showed you the dreamlike diffusion model in one of my last videos. Check this out too. So you want to download this. You can see this looks a little bit like mid journey. So go here to files and versions. And you want to download the Dreamlike Diffusion 1.0 CKPT file. It's only 2.13 gigabytes. Then as the second model, I want you to download the Open Journey model. This is directly trained on mid-journey images. Both of these models, by the way, are trained for Stable Diffusion 1.5. And you can see when we scroll down here that we have different sample images that look kind of mid-journey. But what I want you to do here is to download the Open Journey version 2 beta. Now this is not for Stable Diffusion 2, it's still for 1.5. This is just the beta of the version 2 for Open Journey. So click on this link here, then click here on Files and Versions and then download down here the lower file Open Journey version 2 CKPT which again has only 2.13 gigabyte. Download both of them into your automatic 1111 folder, in there into the models folder and in there into the stable diffusion folder. You can see here I have a lot of different models. Now again after you've done this you want to start your automatic 1111 as usual. And then when you have your interface what you want to do is to go to checkpoint merger. Load the dreamlike diffusion model into the primary model A from the list here and then for the secondary model the Open Journey version 2 model again from that list here. Leave the custom name empty because then it will automatically make a name from both models and the multiplier ratio. Now in my case I set the model to 0.5. You can set it to different values, play around, test it out. I set this to weighted sum and to CKPT. Click on run, doesn't take long and then it will automatically put the new model into your model's stable diffusion folder so you can load it from your list here. Here's a beautiful image of a female cyborg that I have created of the merge of these models and you can see how detailed and beautiful it is. And here we have a second example of what I've created with the merge of these models. Now I want to give you some secret sauce on how to get these really beautiful results. So here's the trick that I'm using to get this really high quality with Stable Diffusion 1.5. First of all, I'm using the sampling method DPM++ SDE Keras. Then even though this is Stable Diffusion 1.5, I'm using a width and height of 768. Because with Stable Diffusion, the resolution of the image is much more important than the steps. Because this will give you a bigger starting ground of noise and a higher resolution to work with, so Stable Diffusion can create more details and finer details in your image. This also means that with a higher resolution you can get a better result even with less steps. Even though I'm still using 40 steps here for my image. In this case I'm not using high res fix and I'm also not using restore phase. 
because the high resolution and the merge of these really fantastic two models gives on its own a really good result. But of course you can improve that if you want to in extras for upscaling when you use down here the GFPGen and code former upscale and in my case I often use that I set both to around 0.5 and then the code former weight here I set to around 0.15 to 0.2. Play around with these settings and see what kind of results you get. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.